so today i will start uh, the next topic uh, in the module 4 that is a field pattern a field pattern is nothing but it will show the variation of the electric field intensity at a constant distance or constant radius r as a function of angle theta and comma is called field pattern what is field pattern this shows this field pattern shows variation of electric field intensity at a constant radius r it is a function of angle theta and pi is called as field pattern the power pattern and the field patterns are interrelated you know what is power pattern and what is field pattern your power pattern p of theta comma pi is equal to 1 over e theta 1 over eta into magnitude of electric field intensity square that is equal to eta into magnitude square of h of e theta h of theta comma pi okay so power factor power pattern p of theta comma pi is equal to 1 over eta into electric field intensity square that may be in the function of uh, theta comma pi or it may be eta multiplied by magnetic field intensity magnitude square so again magnetic field intensity is also function of theta comma pi so therefore p of theta comma pi is equal to 1 over eta into electric field intensity magnitude square is equal to eta into magnitude square of magnetic field intensity so therefore p is equal to power e is is equal to electrical field in component vector h is magnetic field component vector and eta is a uh, free space impedance that is uh, 377 oh now the power pattern is measured and the plotted received power the power pattern is measured or calculated and plotted with respect to received power that is magnitude of p of theta comma pi at a constant distance from the antenna what i told that is a power pattern at the transmitter side is p of theta comma pi is equal to 1 over eta into magnitude of electric field intensity square that is equal to eta into magnitude of square of magnetic field intensity is power pattern at the oh, what is uh, a transmitter antenna if your power pattern at the received antenna is plotted that is given by magnitude of p of theta comma pi at a constant distance from the antenna is given as it is the amplitude field pattern it is measured and pl plotted electric field intensity at the receiver side the power pattern is the amplitude field pattern it is measured and plotted electric field intensity and magnetic field intensity your received power may be measured at the receiver side either in terms of magnetic field intensity or um, what is uh, electric field intensity so that may be given as at the received at the receiver it may be calculated as theta e of theta comma pi magnitude or magnitude of magnetic field intensity as a function of theta comma pi it is at a constant distance from the antenna as shown in figure here you see this center is uh, this is relation of pointing vectors and uh, two field components in a far field so this is at center o it is a antenna isotropic antenna which radiates power at this point on the this point is situated at a constant distance r from the antenna this is constant distance at r from antenna through which you are going to measure the pointing vector sr which is radial in nature power per unit area in terms of watts per meter square and other fields components are e pi this is electric field intensity in pi direction this is electric field intensity in theta direction so this is how you are going to calculate the power at the transmitter and receiver in free space now 
i will come to the another topic of this uh, module is array of two point sources what is array what is array you know already array means it consisting of number of elements it consisting of number of same elements right no so that is called as array in antenna array so for example number of point sources are connected in an array number of point source antennas or point sources are connected in an array depending on the fashion a uh, point sources are connected depending on that or structure point sources are connected depending on that arrays of uh, point source or antenna arrays are classified as linear array broad sided array, array end fire array like that you are going to uh, classify in uh, linear array all the point sources are connected on the axis of the array with constant distance with the constant distance between each point source whereas the magnitude amplitude of magnitude or amplitude of voltage and currents are same amplitude magnitude of voltage and currents which is applied to the point sources are same in magnitude and it radiates it radiates perpendicular to the array axis it radiates maximum power to the perpendicular to the array axis so that is called as linear array in broad side array your antennas are connected one over the other okay and amplitude of point sources current and amplitude are same and radiation pattern will be perpendicular to the array axis so like that you are having the different types of arrays now i am going to consider array of two point source in array axis you are having the two point sources either side of the center point of the array axis left side of the for example i will show here this is a array axis you draw a line array axis this is you assume that this is a point o this is here you have to fix one point source here you have to fix one point source see the distance between this point source is constant you have to maintain and this point sources are applied by the input power that will be our current or amplitude of a signal will be equal in nature so therefore array of two point sources array is an assembly of antenna in an electrical and geometrical of such a nature that radiation from each element added up to give a maximum field intensity in a particular direction and cancels in each other direction for example in an array you are having two point sources each point source is applied with an equal amount of current and equal of equal amount of signal voltage both the point sources because of they are connected uh, they are maintaining the constant distance between uh, d is the distance between these two point sources each antenna will radiate in same direction individually that will be added at a point in free space that will be added to calculate the total electric field intensity radiated from each individual point sources so therefore array is an assembly of antenna in an electrical and geometrical it will be in such a nature it radiates from each element if you are having n number of point sources in an array each antenna each point source will radiate its equivalent its own radiation from n number of antennas at which at a distance point p if you want to calculate that will be added at that point in space to calculate the total power radiated by all the antennas n number of antennas so therefore radi each element add up to give a maximum electric field intensity in a particular direction and it cancels in other direction an important characteristic of an array is change of its radiation pattern is respond to different excitations of its antenna elements an important characteristic of an antenna or array is if you want to change the change of radiation pattern 
it will takes when radiation pattern will change in radiation pattern when individual antennas are excited or supplied by the different sources or different amount of voltages different voltage different amount of signals what i told in an array each antenna is each point sources are supplied with the same amount of current or voltages or power input power if you are going to have different input power for individual antennas a field pattern will be changes okay let let us consider different cases of two isotropic point sources placed lambda by 2 apart with a different scenario we are going to consider now two different cases two isotropic point sources are connected on a array axis with a different lambda by 2 of distance between two point sources is lambda by 2 with a different scenario what is first scenario here you have to obtain the field pattern for two isotropic point sources two isotropic point sources are connected on the array axis with equal amplitude input power is equal or input voltage is equal or in amplitude of the input signal is equal but in opposite phase assume distance between two sources is d here if you want to calculate the total in this case if you want to calculate the total electric field intensity at a point at a point p in space which is at a constant distance r from the point source you have to calculate the total amount of electric field intensity at point p in space that will be the sum of electric individual electric field intensity of these two point sources radiated okay so the, therefore how you are going to calculate the this total electric field intensity at point p in space at a constant distance r for this situation is here in this case this case is identical with the previous but the two sources are in opposite phase instead of same phase two source sources are source 1 and source 2 are located symmetrically with respect to origin of negative coordinates consider a observation point p at a distance r the angle theta is measured clockwise from the positive axis if you are going to calculate the uh, power here two point sources are placed identically on the either side of the array axis but these two are opposite in phase source 1 and source 2 are located symmetrically with respect to origin of negative coordinates here you have to consider for the observation a point p in space is at a distance r and it makes an angle theta measured in clockwise from the positive x axis so therefore if origin is considered as a reference you have to take to measure the electric field intensity at a point p in space which is at a distance r you have to consider origin is reference the field source from field from source 1 is related by related by dr by 2 cos theta this you have to keep in mind the field from source 1 is related by the equation dr by 2 cos theta theta is the angle made from the source 1 in positive x axis and then d is a distance between two point sources r is distance from the point source to point p through which you are going to calculate the total electric field intensity so therefore electric field generated from the point from the point source 1 is given by dr by 2 into cos theta and field from source 2 is advanced by because you take a two point point sources which are fixed on the array axis distance is d between point source 
source one is at the right right side axis of the center and source two is left side of the center so your electric field generated by the source one will be reach the point p in free space before reaching the electric field intensity from the source two at point p because your distance between these two point source is d because of that electric field intensity generated from the source one will reach the point source at point p in space as soon as possible by an amount by later uh, by an amount of early to the electric field intensity generated by the source two at point p in space because it is having the distance d so the field from source two is advanced by dr by 2 cos theta here dr is equal to beta d is equal to 2 pi by 2 j e naught into d you call this equation as 1 then total electric field in the direction at a large distance r is given by e is equal to this you have to keep in mind e is equal to 2 e naught into e to the power of j psi by 2 minus exponential to the minus j psi by 2 from this you are going to get e is equal to 2j e naught into exponent 2j e naught into exponential to the power of e to the power of j psi by 2 minus exponential power of e minus j psi by 2 by divided by 2 so this exponential power e to the power of j psi by 2 minus e to the power of minus a by 2 divided by that is nothing but what sin psi by 2 so therefore here j indicates the phase reversal of one source and it is not in portent so therefore e is equal to 2j e naught into sin psi by 2 therefore e is equal to 2j e naught sin psi by 2 is equal to dr by 2 into cos theta so therefore e sin pi by 2 of cos theta is the total electric field intensity for two point sources are applied with the same amplitude but opposite in nature so now dr is equal to beta d beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda into distance between these two is lambda by 2 so you will be getting dr is equal to pi ok so therefore in above equation you put theta is equal to 0 here you put theta is equal to 0 you will be getting what is e is equal to 1 you will be getting e is equal to 1 you put theta is equal to 30 degree you will be getting the e is equal to 9 0.977 you put theta is equal to some values this is the figure you want to draw this is the radiation pattern of this uh, case two point sources are applied with the same amplitude but opposite in phase distance between these two is lambda by 2 you will be getting the field pattern like this this you have to calculate by deriving this equation e is equal to sine of pi by 2 cos theta here you change the value for theta from theta is equal to 0 you will be getting the e is equal to 1 theta is equal to 30 degree e is equal to 0 0.977 e is equal to 60 degree e is equal to 0 0.700 like that up to different values up to theta is equal to 300 you can give e is equal to 0 0.70 you will be getting so roughly approximately you draw the field pattern like this ok this is how you are going to get the field pattern now for general case array of n isotropic point sources array of n isotropic point sources you see this is the linear array of n capital n isotropic point sources of equal amplitude and spacing see this is your origin y axis is origin here two point sources are fixed here this point sources 
are separated by a distance d uh, separated by a distance d n number of point sources they will generate the electric radiate the electric field intensity like this so this is the far field observation point p which is having a constant distance r from each point source at this point it is situated at distance r from the antenna at this point you are going to calculate the total far electric field intensity which is sum of electric field intensities added generated or radiated from all these n point sources okay so therefore the total field electric field at distance point in the direction of e is given by e is equal to 1 plus e to the power of j psi plus e to the power of j 2 psi plus e to the power of j 2 pi so up to e to the power of j n minus 1 psi this is the equation for electric field intensity generated or radiated by the individual point sources at a, a point P. It is the sum of electric field intensity. It is the sum of electric field intensity generate individual electric field intensity generated by each point source at point P. Where psi is total phase difference between adjacent sources psi means what see here psi is from here to here it is having angle psi this psi will be added it is the total phase difference at point p okay adjacent source psi is equal to this psi is equal to is given by as dr into cos plus delta is equal to 2 pi by lambda into d cos pi plus delta is equal to delta is equal to phase difference of adjacent source. So multiplying by the equation 1 by e to the power of j psi why e to the power of j psi is followed here because e to the power of j psi is the representation of electric field intensity which is having a phase difference at point P which is imaginary. Okay, usually electric field intensity, imaginary electric field intensity will be represented as E naught into E to the power of J psi. E naught is amplitude of electric field intensity and that is imaginary will be represented by E to the power of J psi. Okay, so subtract here 1 minus 3, you will be getting E into 1 minus E to the power of J psi, E into E to the power of J psi e will be common 1 minus e to the power of j psi is equal to 1 minus e to the power of j n psi into e is equal to 1 into e to the power of j into n psi by, by n psi by 1 minus e to the power of j psi so therefore e is equal to you will be getting e to the power of j into n minus 1 into psi by 2 of sin n psi by 2 divided by sin psi by 2. So, is equal to if the phase is referred to the center point of the array, then E reduces to if your phase is at the center point of the array, then E will become this will become sin n psi by 2 divided by sin psi by 2. Whereas, when phase is refer, referred to the center point of the array this psi will become 0 therefore e will tends to when psi is equal to 0 e is equal to limit psi tends to 0 sin psi n psi by 2 divided by sin psi by 2 so therefore psi is equal to 0 electric field intensity e is maximum is equal to n that is called as normalizing electric field intensity so e normalizing is equal to what e divided by its maximum value e divided by its maximum value that is equal to 1 over n into this electric field intensity sin into n psi by 2 divided by sin psi by 2 so therefore e normalized is equal to e divided by e max is equal to 1 over n into sin n psi by 2 divided by sin psi by 2 so now 
this is only you are having the a case one is two point sources are having the this is one case you, you need to practice this derivation and this field pattern this is n isotropic point sources are you are going to complete this linear broadside array is not in your syllabus okay so end fire array it is not in your syllabus so like this different types of uh, uh, cases we have you, you are having the uh, derivations for a total electric field intensity at point p so these are the important questions state and prove power theorem and its applications derive an expression for the power rated from an isotopic point source with sin squared power pattern so these are the important eight questions are there you can uh, discuss with point so this is how the point sources of uh, model 4 is uh, finished okay thank you one and all